Hello everybody, and it's Rick here, and I'm here on Fiery Salient with my clan mates Sparky and James. I am here to bring to you organized chaos. <laughs> my little take on random acts of violence. We are in an M46 platoon here. I wanted to run an M46 platoon after I had seen Jingles random acts of violence in his M46 platoon earlier in the day. And almost from the start, I start to get trolled by a T37 driver. That one right there. <laughs> I don't know what this guy was doing, but he was spamming me something fierce, so I put him on ignore. And as I go for the hill, he comes up and side scrapes me. Like, what is this guy trying to do? He's probably still shouting commands at me. Anyway, I let him know the match is being recorded. So he backs off. Then comes right up behind me again and proceeds to try and push. I don't know what this guy was doing. Anyway, James on my team comes up and gives the guy a nudge. Sparky's telling him, go scout, or scout. So T-37 proceeds to bump James. I'm typing, you're on my blacklist, and you will be reported with video as proof. Might even send it to Jingles. He proceeds to hit me again. Our FCM 50 is like, really? Reporting someone for not scouting? <laughs> the FCM 50 is on the other side of the map. He probably doesn't know what's going on. And I let him know. The dude's trolling the platoon. <laughs> he's not scouting. He's trolling the platoon. Anyway, we're all being interfered with by this guy. There he goes again, and he rams me from behind. And I've decided now I've had enough of this guy. I turn my tank around, and I go at him. You want to push me? I can push back, and I tell my teammates, let's push this guy off the hill, because he's just being an annoyance. So that's what we do. <laughs> All three of us. Here you go, bud. Down the hill. Nope. Trying to get back up. Nope. Didn't push you down far enough. Nope. There we go. Sparky turns, backs him up, pushes him down further. <laughs> that pretty much forces our troll friend there to go back down the hill and go around. So that frees us up to start engaging the enemy. So here I am. There's an IS-8 here. He seems to be the only guy who's been spotted. Now, I take some time while I'm sitting here to type in chat. And I'm asking people to report this T-37 for unsportsmanlike conduct because of his trolling. Anyway, the IS-8 takes a big hit there. There I am saying report Jaws both for unsportsmanlike contact. I meant conduct. Anyway, I'm moving up here. I'm trying to spot, see if I can see anything on the far hill. The Rimbatal's there. He's pushing right up. He takes out that IS-8. Oh, but he takes some fire again. I've got the IS there. I put one into him. And I lay the killing shot into him. Uh, T-37's coming back up the hill again. And he's going to start to give us a little bit of trouble, but... It's nothing that impacts us for the rest of the game. I run down this hill, I want to get below um, the gun barrel of that Object 704. I took a shot there and it bounced off my back quarter. I keep running, I get down to the water. That puts me below his gun. 
and then I want to come around this side over here. We haven't detected anybody along the railroad track, so I was really surprised the team didn't really seem to guard this side of the map much. Pretty much left that Object 704 alone with the IS and the IS-8. I put the last hit into that Object 704, so now I've got two kills. And our friend in the T-37 has come back down, and he is now harassing Sparky. <laughs> James is trying to warn him off. And I'm looking at the water and I'm wondering if we can drown the guy in it. <laughs> Probably not. I don't think it was deep enough. Anyway, the T 37 pushes up over the hill and he takes a hit from the Tiger 1 and the Tiger P off there to the left. And even though I really was tempted to just kill the T-37 on my team, I decided to engage this Tiger instead. And I'm trying to use him for cover too, I don't want to take hits from the side over there. And I finish him off. Yeah. A Tiger is not going to beat an M46 Patton. I'm sorry, it's not gonna happen. Anyway, I line up here, not much to shoot at on that Tiger P. I aim, fire, and I get him. And there's four for me. And the T-95 is all by himself. The T-37 went back over the other side of the railroad tracks, which was good for him because I was looking for him. Because if he was going to pop up and over, I was going to kill him. <laughs> at this far into the match, if you kill another player on your team that's that low in health, he might not turn blue. So that's what I was counting on. And so he probably wisely stayed on the other side. <laughs> and there, the T95 is now dead, and the match is won. So, how did I do overall? What was the results after that trolling? Well, let's take a look. And here we have it. I have a second class badge, fighter. Fire for effect. Team score. I was second in damage, 2,427 with four kills. And second in XP with 854. And look where that T-37 is. 109 damage. He spotted one vehicle and damaged one. As for me, I spotted three, damaged four, destroyed four, and did over 1,191 damage spotting. So, despite the troll, I did very well, my team did well, and we got the win. So, if you encounter trolls out there, you just got to do your best and not let them irritate you. If you can take action like we did, that's a wise choice. Don't go TKing them early. You get banned. It's happened to me before in the past. Uh, it does last for 24 hours, but uh, it's not something you want to do on a regular basis. And anyway, don't let players like that discourage you from having fun. Go out there and enjoy yourselves. That's all for me here. And as always, good luck and have fun out there.